All right, now we're going to talk about intercepts. Uh, so suppose we have our axes. Make sure you put uh, arrows on the ends of the axes here and label them the horizontal one X and the vertical one Y. And all right, so we have the graph of a line. Um, but this concept applies out to uh, all the graphs. So where we hit the X axis, where the graph hits the X axis right here, that has a fancy name. It's called the X intercept. Excuse my handwriting. I'll write it better on the next screen. All right, that's called the X intercept. Wherever your graph hits the X axis, that's referred to as the X intercept. And brilliantly enough, wherever the graph hits the Y axis is called the Y intercept. You can just abbreviate it to Y dash INT if you would like. <clears throat> now these are points on your graph, specific points on your graph. So what's special about the X points that are called the x-intercepts, you know, where you hit the x-axis? Well, the y values for those ordered pairs are always going to be what number? Zero, that's correct. So all the ordered pairs, say this is, this is A and this is B. So this particular ordered pair has the form a comma zero. A comma zero would be the x intercept for this particular graph. For the y intercept, what's special for y intercepts wherever your graph hits the y axis? Well, x has to be zero. And so the y intercept has x has to be zero, it has no choice, and the y part of the ordered pair is just whatever that value is. So 0b is the form for y-intercepts while a comma 0 is the form for x-intercepts. Alright, so there's the way to find x-intercepts and y-intercepts. Well, to find the x-intercept we know that y has to be 0, so let y be 0 and then just solve the remaining uh, equation for x. And then to find the y-intercept, well you know that x has to be 0, so just plug in 0 for x and then solve for y. So for an example, 3x plus 4y is equal to 9. Alright, so to find the x-intercept, get a little more room here, to find the x-intercept let y equal 0. So literally plug 0 in for y. We know y has to be 0, it has no choice. So 3x plus 4 times 0 is equal to 9. And then you solve this equation for x. <clears throat> well, 4 times 0 obviously is 0. That just goes away. So you're left with 3x equals 9. 3x equals 9, which means x is equal to 3. Now, intercepts are ordered pairs. So they need to be written as ordered pairs. Uh, so the x-intercept would be 3, comma, 0. That is the x-intercept, not just the number 3. That actually means something else that we'll talk about in a later video. <clears throat> so yes, yeah, some books get lazy, some instructors get lazy, whatever the case may be, and say, yeah, 3 is the x-intercept. But intercepts are ordered pairs, and they should be written as such. All right, so let's go over here to the y-intercept, and this time we need to let, since we're looking for the y-intercept, we know that x has to be 0, so let x be 0. So you get 3 times 0 plus 4y is equal to 9, and you're just left with y equals, and I would write it as 9 fourths. All right, so then what would be the actual y-intercept. Well, x is 0 and the y part is 9 fourths. And there you go. Again, I cannot emphasize enough, intercepts are ordered pairs and need to be written as such. Alright, to recap, to find the x-intercept of uh, your equation, just let y be 0, plug 0 in for y, and solve for x. 
and then write your ordered pairs. Sometimes you'll have more than one ordered pair because uh, you'll have more than one x-intercept. And then to find the y-intercept, you let x be 0, and, uh, and then you solve for y, and then write the corresponding ordered pairs. All right, so as long as your equation does have x-intercepts or y-intercepts, then these two concepts about how to find those things will always hold and never change. Yes, there will be times where you'll run into an equation that does not have an x-intercept or does not have a y-intercept, and you would get different results down here that involve imaginary numbers. Um, so for x-intercepts and y-intercepts, we're looking for purely real numbers down here because the x-axis and the y-axis are real number lines. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.